What's going on guys? Alright, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about again, another shoe that I have. I got this over a year ago. It's the Jordan B Fly. So I don't have the box, but you've seen it before. I actually deleted it by accident in that video. So my bad. I'll repost it though another time. But these are my basketball shoes that I've been wearing for the past year and a half. Uh, so I'll just give a quick review. It's super light. Honestly, one of the lightest shoes I've ever had. I like it because, first off, it is a, kind of a low cut, as you can see. But um, it's not that low like Kobe's. But they are like not as big as, let's say, other ones like I have right here. See, obviously, these are a lot chunkier and are a lot... You can tell the difference. It's quite a big difference. That's the first thing I really like. Second thing I really like is the comfort, uh, super comfy. Uh, oh, I always forget to say the name. So the, the Jordan Me flies, uh, they're the budget model. So they're really cheap. You know, we all know that Jordans are really expensive and that for kids and for adults that don't have that much money, like I'm a college student. So obviously I'm not going to go up and drop 150, 160 bucks on very basketball shoes, even more nowadays. Like the LeBrons are 200, the Kobe's are ridiculous expensive so what's really cool nowadays is that all these brands are coming out with the budget model so this is a budget model brand budget model jordan um this is a budget model adidas super good grip and really good quality it's just a bit cheaper um they're like usually under under 100 bucks or under 110 really affordable you know especially nowadays when you have very expensive shoes like shoes nowadays they cost over 145 you can't get a really good shoe and so then there are a lot of shoes that you know there's only a, a couple of shoes that are under 100 bucks and you know, i remember you back in the day at least these were kids shoes but i'd get easily 60 70 80 bucks for a really good kick but now let me get into some details about this shoe cushion i would rate it 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 uh it has been worn a lot, so it's been worn down now, but it does kind of hurt the heel from time to time if you're playing it in a lot. So it's just an extra sole. That's what I, I don't honestly suggest that. Um, so that's that. Um, the bounce, it's quite good. This is EVA, I think. It's quite cushy. Like, it's, like you can see that it's like, you can see that it's like it's it's foamy. Um, grip. At first, it was really good. Uh, when I wore them for the first time, I literally walked on the floor of Foot Locker. I always buy my shoes at Foot Locker or Sports Experts, and it was like suction cups. I was in love. But then after a couple of games, I realized that. All the dust got caught. You see on these little, there's little lines here. Oh, there's all dust on there. So you have to wash them almost every single game before or wipe them off. So really dusty cars. That's a no bueno. No good. Um, so yeah, so that, so I'd say traction six, seven on 10, 6.5, I'll say. Like you won't slide out, but there's a lot better grips. Like, I'll give an example for this one. This one is so much better. Like these, I've had my friends try them. I've tried them during games and practices. They're a bit too big on me. I like this much. I really like my shoes being really super tight. Uh, I got them too big and I don't like how clunky they are. Um, so, but these, you they're so sticky that they squeak when you go at them. There's barely no dust on them that they'll ever get on. Super good traction. So that those are really good. These, you're not gonna be squeaking in them. I right? that is not gonna happen. But you are going to not slide out anytime soon. You just gotta wipe them off a couple of times a game. Um, like when you're on the bench, or like during timeout, you just wipe them off. And you'll be good to go. I what I usually do is before a game, 
I take a toothbrush, a little bit of soap, wash them off, get all the dust off, and then I'm fine for the game. It does suck, but it is what it is. Um, next thing I find really cool is that it really fits the foot. So these are super tight on me, which I love. But what's cool about it is, is that if you see is that it's like curved here. So that it's like, it fits onto the shoe so that when you tie it up, it is super tight, super well fitted. It fits on your foot, your foot like a glove, even though it's not like one of those gloves ones, like the new curry one or anything. Um, what else? Uh, what else do I have to say about this? Uh, I really like the aesthetics. I think it's they're super cool. They're kind of like it's like a gray, black, and uh, red mix. Super cool. Um, I definitely would recommend these to buy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to do them outside because they're quite like the cushion. I feel like they, 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 I feel like the traction would run down quite fast because they're just little bumps. As you see, they're little bumps. I feel like these would run out really quickly. Um, but with that being said, uh, you know, really good shoe. I really like this part, the 23, as you see, you can see when you're walking, it's really cool. You can get some sick picks, the 23. Right. Uh, I don't know. I don't think they're real leather, but it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So super cool shoe. Definitely a buy. Uh, they're for basketball. Um, I think they can be cool outside. I've never really worn them outside, like outside of basketball. But I think they could be like a cool slim add to your shoe collection. They're super cheap too. You know, I try to go for shoes that are cheap. Uh, like I said, college student, you know, broke. Um, trying to pay for school and stuff. So I'm not really looking out there for uh, to uh, to like break the bank on, on shoes. Um, you know, I, I'd rather have like a ton of shoes than a couple of shoes that cost like 300, 200 bucks. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's my review for the Jordan B Fly. Um, definitely buy it, I'd say. You know, it's uh, it want, uh, it's honestly not my favorite shoe, but for the price, you're getting a really good shoe. Um, and yeah, so uh, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, Reach out to me if you want to see me do another shoe or if you're a plug, you know, hook me up with some shoes, boys. Let's get it.